Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Remember that YouTube workout that I did yesterday? I am so sore. Today's supposed to be a rest day, but I'm gonna do some yoga because I'm really sore. Yoga. It is Friday, October 21st, and there is 16 days left until we tow the line and run the greatest marathon in the whole entire world, the New York City Marathon. Now I have run six marathons now, two of those being New York City, and I can say without a doubt that New York City is the best marathon in the whole entire world. I kind of want to share what it's like to run the New York City Marathon because it's a lot different than any other marathon I've ever run. Like your day starts really, really early in the morning, like ridiculously early because Normally, like you get to a race about like an hour early, but at New York City, like you get there two or three hours early. The first year I ran it, I ran with the charity team for kids. So I rode the charity bus over to Staten Island and you have like a police escort and you feel all cool and you're in like a warm bus. And the second year I ran it, I rode the Staten Island Ferry with Greg and his sister Kim, which the Staten Island Ferry is so much more fun. Like I love taking the Staten Island Ferry with all the marathoners and everything's happening and then you get to Staten Island and you get on a bus and then you go to the, the starting village and the starting village is crazy. It's huge. And you get all these, you're always in a color. Like there's three different colors. There's blue, green, and orange. And everyone goes to their different village and you can like go find your friends. And I always bring a yoga mat or like a pool toy to sit on. So we have like a little village of friends and we find each other and everyone gets these cool little Dunkin' Donuts hats. And then we get coffee and there's bagels and there's all this cool stuff. but. Starting the race is surreal because you start on the Veranzano Bridge and they play New York, New York. And then you start the, the race and you run over the Veranzano. And this year, because I'm doing the Foot Locker Five Borough Challenge, like we get to run the Veranzano all by ourselves. Like there's no one on the bridge except for the five of us, which is gonna be totally surreal and crazy. And then after the Veranzano, you go into Brooklyn and you're in Brooklyn for like 13 miles, I think. And I always find my family around mile seven. And then you see all your friends and it's crazy and it's loud and there's all these bridges. And then you go into Queens? Question mark? I think you go to Queens and then going into New York City is like crazy because you go over this huge Queensboro Bridge and it's quiet. You just hear like the sound of the runner's feet and slowly like there's this like rumble of noise and as you get closer and closer and closer to Manhattan like the noise gets louder and you like come down and you, you do this like U-turn type thing and as you're doing the U-turn, like the sound just builds and builds and builds and builds until you get onto First Avenue, and then it just like explodes. And there's just thousands and thousands and thousands of people, like six people deep, screaming. I love the New York City Marathon because this is like the, I think it was during my first New York City Marathon that I like really felt, it was the first day that I felt like a New Yorker. And that was like a really, like I, I, I always felt like this was home. Like the second I got off the plane, I was like, I'm home. But it was that day that I like actually felt like New York was my city and I belonged there. You know, like I earned my, my right to call myself a New Yorker. It's just like a magical day to be a New Yorker and run through the cities and everyone, like the city shows up. It's hard, New York is a hard city. Like people don't, people don't acknowledge each other here. Everyone's really hard and cold. People don't look at you, they look through you. But on the marathon, like every, everything stops and it's the best day to be a pedestrian. Like <laughs> there, the amount of people who show up to support you and just tell it like scream nice things at you. Like I always tell people like you feel like Beyonce the entire time. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> God, First Avenue is like madness. And then you go into the Bronx. It's a little quiet and crazy, and then you come back into the city. Normally my sister finds me in like three different places. 
But this year, I don't know what's gonna happen. Coming into this marathon is a little bit tricky because Chicago was really hard. It was amazing, don't get me wrong. But it was really painful. And New York City is one of those races that I love to enjoy because it's just such a fun party. Like it literally feels like a 26 mile block party. And it's like the culmination, like New York City was the second marathon I ever ran in my life. This race has so much significance to me because like running here in the city is what changed my life. I'm just really excited. Like I'm finally excited that I'm at the place where Chicago is behind me. I'm super happy with how that went. London's ahead of me. And I just get to fun run New York City. I don't know if I'm gonna win. I'm gonna try, but to me, like the goal isn't to win, the goal is to have the best time possible. And I'm, I'm raising money for the most amazing charity ever, Save the Children. They're involved in hundreds of countries. Like everything they do, it goes to education, it goes to vaccinations, it goes to providing clean water and food and, and opportunities to children. Like I always say, there's only one group of people who deserve, their only job should be to learn, explore, and look forward to the future, and that's children. It's not fair that so many kids get denied that right. And Save the Children is doing their part to just help kids around the world, give them the best future possible. So I am so excited that I get to raise money. If you wanna help me raise money, donate $10. $10, like that's a coffee, that's a smoothie, that's a cheeseburger. Like Everyone can afford $10 to help a kid around the world have a better future. The link to donate to Save the Children is below. But this New York City Marathon, like I'm so excited about. It's gonna be a great race. It's almost here.